Hello and welcome to this PICO training video. In this video we will discuss how to remove and install the drain valve actuators on the PICO ROV gas units. Some versions of the PICO ROVs use a 24 volt DC drain valve actuator for opening and closing the drains for each fry pot. Depending on what drain actuator you need to remove, you will have to remove more or less of the drain line assembly to gain access to the actuator. On the far left unit, remove the two bolts holding the drain elbow in place. Loosen the retaining clamp holding the drain piping together and remove the drain elbow. Once the drain elbow has been removed, you will get a small amount of oil to drip out of the drain. Place a rag or a paper towel inside the drain to minimize this. Once the drain section has been removed, you now have access to the mounting screws for the drain actuator. Using a 3 16 inch T-handle hex key, you can now remove the two retaining screws from the front of the actuator. These screws do not need to be fully removed, only loosened far enough to be able to have the actuator slide off the drain. Remove the access panel in the rear of the unit so that you can unplug the Molex connector for the actuator. Once unplugged and the mounting screws have been loosened, you can slide the actuator off the drain and remove it from the equipment. It may be necessary to cut a few wire ties that hold the wiring in place from the drain actuator. Reinstall the repaired or new actuator in the reverse order. Slide the actuator over the drain stem and secure it by tightening the mounting screws. Make sure to remove the rag or paper towel from the drain line, if you used one, before reassembling the drain piping. Slide the spring clamp over the drain pipe first, then attach the drain elbow using the rubber gasket to hold it in place. Once the piping is fitted and aligned properly, reinstall the bolts for the elbow and tighten. These bolts just need to be snug enough to prevent leaks. Do not over tighten these bolts. Position the red gasket so it is centered between the drain tube and the elbow where they join. Then slide the retaining clamp so it is centered over the red gasket. Position the tightening nut on the clamp so that it is at the bottom of the drain line and tighten.
Don't forget to put the gray rubber protector back over the threads of the clamp so they do not get damaged. Thank you for watching this PITCO training video. For more information, please contact us on our webpage at www.pitco.com or contact our technical service team at 603-225-6684.